but I've made myself the consummate student. Mm -hmm. I am a student of how this thing works, this this family system. Like right. I, the one thing I, I teach people is, the family is a system. Look at the family like an automobile. If you take off the tire or an automobile or the steering wheel or uh, some other pertinent part, it's not gonna function properly. And it's the same way with the family. If mom is not happy, if dad is not happy, if the children are going through something, then this entire system might be dysfunctional. Um, the purpose of what I do is to show everybody that are pieces of this system how to coexist. And we have some cases where it's just not possible. And that, that does not mean it's the end of the world. That doesn't mean you're broken because this certain piece of your family is broken. I do teach you how to work around that. You know, we got parallel parenting, we have co-parenting. So, um, you know, it's just up to, you know, it, it takes time and many years to, to know which one is right for a certain person, for a certain group. And getting to know more about you, um, can you go ahead and, you know, let us know about your family and mm -hmm. where you come from? Do you come from a blended family? So my parents are about to celebrate their 40th wedding anniversary oh, wow. this summer. Okay. And my husband's parents, uh, we actually got married on their anniversary. Um, they're celebrating 33 years. Okay. So he and I both come from seeing happy marriages. I grew up, I grew up, I don't even really remember seeing my folks fight too much. You know, and so told my husband, his name is Tony. I'm sure you, you know, you guys will hear me talk about him a lot in this interview. He also says the same thing. He's like, I really didn't see my parents fight. So when it started happening in his marriage, he's just like, this is not what I'm about. This is not who I am. And, you know, obviously there's other things that lead to the, the, the destruction of a marriage. And that's not for me to get into here on right. this program. But um, no, I don't come from a blended family okay. at all. I'm in one now, though. <laughs> I'm all up in one now. No, and I just, you know, I think that's important to ask, too, because I think uh, that's where our family values start from yes. our family. So mm -hmm. whether you're in a blended family or not, you still have values that um, kind of think of and say. Oh, my God. Patience. Mm -hmm. Because they're about to be married for 40 years. Whew. That's like way longer than I've been on this earth. Way, 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 way longer. <laughs> <laughs> um, number one, patience is is the, the one thing I can say. And I think that kind of just goes without an, an explanation. To, to do the same thing with the same person looking in their face for 365 times 40, that takes a, a huge um, bit of patience. And then I would say... Um, but uh, after patience, I would say the next thing, if I could only name two, if I have to pick like something that's also most important, is um, consistency. Be being consistent, and consistency can fall under, like there's so many things that can fall under the umbrella of being consistent. Like, are you consistent with your um, uh, level of honesty, with the time that you put into your family? Are you consistent with showing love to your spouse, to your children, um, to, other, to extended family members? Um, so yeah, I, I would say those two. For no, sure. I think those Patience are awesome. and consistency. No, those are definitely mm -hmm. um, too good. Cool. If you have not um, landed in the reward part, I would say don't be so hard on yourself because it takes the average family five to seven years to blend. Oh, wow. Five to seven years. That's on average. That is if, you know, once you get through all the bumps in the road, logistics, once you get the court battles and finances out of the way, um, parents start to get on one accord, and then the kids start to accept. Like, it, it takes five to seven years. So I'm going to say, number one, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, number two, be very, like, pray. And stay, like, pray, pray, pray. Keep your faith up. This is a lesson and a test for all of us. You know, like, um, God's strongest soldiers are given the toughest. What's the rest of it? I don't know. But given the toughest battles. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so um, stay prayed up. Number three, I would say um, be the bigger person. When you want to make that snide, nasty remark, keep your mouth shut. Um, when you want to say something to those kids about how awful their mother or their father is, keep your mouth shut. Well, um, n number four, allow your children to have a relationship and maybe even facilitate a relationship with their step parents. Because that makes them happy. Because children have a loyalty bond. If if I know, like just let's just say I was the stepmother in your baby's life. Right. If I knew, if, if he knew that you did not like me and you made comments and he saw us fighting and he, and he heard things, he's going to automatically have a loyalty bond to you because you're the person he spends the most time with, his mother. So when he comes to be with me, he's going to be uncomfortable. He's going to be detached, disengaged. He might be a little bit disrespectful and... Like, why would you put a child in that position? So um, 
encourage your children and let them know it's okay. Give them permission to like this dead parent. Um, when they're with their other parent, and this is for the custodial parents, when they're visiting their other house, I don't really like to say visiting because it should be like their other home. Right. Um, don't call too much. Don't be so abrasive. Like let the other parent have their time and don't expect to be in control or know everything that's going on in their household. And you guys might not always agree on uh, how to on parenting, but just understand like this is your situation. You can't like you're not in the same household with your child's parents. So there's there's a certain level of control that you have to let go. So let go of that control. Um, The next thing I would say is to show love every chance you get show love and be gracious and then just let it damn go let it go let it go like if you are out you're listening to this right now let it go whatever it is that you're holding on to the the pain from your own childhood um what that man said to you five years ago or what that woman told your child let it go let it go you are harboring ugliness and nastiness and bitterness and you're not growing because of it and your children are not growing because of it i guarantee you you know you might say oh my kids don't need their dad or my kids don't need their mom i've heard parents say this i've seen parents in our in our in our um, support group say that and i feel so bad for the kids and i also feel bad for this adult like what happened to you in your childhood to where you would think that a child doesn't need both parents given that both parents are willing and able and you know it's a health their both parents are healthy uh mentally or whatever um I could go on and on and on and on, but I do put all this stuff on the blog. So, you know, y'all can just check the Blended in Black uh, website, just blendedinblack.com and, you know, look for tips on unhealthy parenting and healthy living. And uh, lastly, if keep the kids first. That should be, that should have been the first thing I said, but I'm glad I made it the last. Keep the kids first. When you realize these children did not ask to be here. They didn't ask for their mom and dad to be fighting over their head and mom trying to force a new man, uh, force them to call a new man dad or stepmom to be so nasty and mean because she really resents the fact that they're there. These children did not ask for that. So they're already in a broken family. Don't make them become broken individuals. So put these kids first. And that even if you are a step parent, I really encourage you to put the children first because these are not children that you in, had the pleasure of creating but you are with their their parent now. You're their parent's support system. Um, my husband calls me daddy's assistant. So that's how, you know, when it's time to discipline, like, look, you know, Miss Naja is daddy's assistant. So if I, if she tells you to do something, it's coming from me. So, you know, put put yourself in a, in a place for growth and positive, positivity and keep those kids first. If you can just do that and remember that, that'll save a lot of drama. That'll save a lot of problems. Look at your baby and be like, wow. Okay. Let me let me let me not focus on me and my anger and my hatred for this person. Let me see this beautiful thing that we created together. Let me focus on that. And uh that'll help a lot of us, I believe. Us, all of us that are included. It'll help us. You just go to you just find look for a blended in black support group. Um here recently, since numbers have grown beyond to where I can just man it myself, I created a team of ambassadors. And these are people that are like there's 6,500 people in the group. So I really went sifting through and I, I found people that are social workers, um, child behavioral specialists, um, child support attorneys, family law attorneys. Okay. Um, if you go to meet, meet our team, you can get free help from these people. There's like six or seven people and more and more are coming every day. I got to look through the applications, but um, I want people to get help. And I want you to know that I'm your advocate and there's so many advocates that are out here um, so go when you go to the website, just look at it. I, I write for the blog all the time. Um, I contribute to other people's blogs as well. I'm not going to drop their names because it's my interview, but <laughs> but I'm a contributor as well for other for other publications and stuff like that. Um, and some of those I do post on the blog. So there's all sorts of helpful articles on the blog. And uh, with the what's next? So Blended in Black has a docu series. It's a documentary that I'm currently filming. And I go into people's homes and they tell me like all of their tea. Uh, like they're all blended families. And I've interviewed um, step parents, biological parents, step children, adult step children, um, young step kids. And it's really raw. It's just raw and it's emotional. And it's, you know, I can see that people want help, but they just like a lot of the people that are on camera, um, they want help. 
They just know the situation that they're in is jacked up and they just don't know how to get out of it. And that makes me feel helpless, but then I go extra hard to be like, what can I do to give this person resources? Because when I see a person wants help, I'm gonna help them. Now, if I have, I've had some people that come in, like, I won't let them, I won't, I won't ever be a part of a blended family. Yes, my children, I have a child with this person, but I don't want him to know them. I've had some people that are just not willing. And those are the people that I give parallel parenting plans to because I, I wanna help them too. If you are just unwilling, then you're not, it's not lost. Your child isn't lost. There's still a way around it. Um, so, so is this yes. like a one-on-one um, session or support that someone can reach out to you for? Or was um, that just in particular to the doctor? So, no, no, no. So with, with parallel parenting, um, the experts that I found, because you asked what made me an expert, mm -hmm. I can't be an expert in everything, okay. you know? Um, but I have found some people whose expertise is getting their child support arrears um, completely deleted. I found a person that's an expert in parallel parenting, whole parenting divorce. Like I found people that are, this is all that they do. And I've, um, I've added them to the blended in black team. So if, if it's something I can't help you with, then I have a resource for you. You know, you just reach out and on, on the team, uh, members like, Oh, we even have a, a lady that's an expert that's in a same sex marriage. Okay. You know, her, her wife has a child obviously with a guy and you know, she teaches people how to navigate that. You know, so we got, we have something for, for everybody, but um, we do have a person that's also an expert in, in parallel parenting, you know, okay. who, where it just could not work out. So, yeah, um, that's, I mean, I, I make announcements and stuff in the group first. Like I.